Greetings and salutations, guys. Heated here. Welcome to part two of today's live sale. Happy Friday of May 19, 2023. Also, if you're watching this live after it's already over, you can check it out below in the description box. Items available and their pricing will be down there. There was also part one to today's live sale, which um, you can watch the replay of as well. There's still some items available from there. Uh, but, oh, also, if you guys are new to the channel, Welcome. So happy to have you here. Welcome to Third Squad. Uh, all the rules and info for the sale are going to be right here. You can also check that out down below in the description box as well. Um, okay. Hi, guys. Let's see who's in here. Hi, Cindy, Kathleen, Marjorie, Lady Badger, Linda, Don. Hello, ladies. Welcome back. Trip on two wheels. <laughs> I wish I found some gold coins. Trip. I wish I did. Unfortunately, still no gold coins to be found. Though I did find today's giveaway. It is a tiny miniature handbag keychain. Perfect to fit your, iP uh, your, your AirPods into. Um, they have a little keychain right here. Super cute. There's a little pocket. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My allergies. <laughs> Not my allergies. Hi, Sunday Latte. Ooh, that's a good question. I want to know what everyone... Wait, wait, wait. What, did we have another question? Or was that the question that we were going to do? Oh, no. What was your house in Harry Potter? Right? Was that our question? I don't remember. But you guys got to give Sunday Latte a follow. She's a fellow reseller, Instagrammer, YouTuber. And she's also selling handbags now as well so you guys gotta give her a follow it's something lot to you on instagram i'm gonna leave her instagram handle for you guys and then from there um all of her other socials will be linked uh something latte she's amazing Ooh, pepper steak over rice that sounds delicious i just had some barbecue um barbecue chicken with salad Mom and I are trying to be healthy. Um, my mom's friends are coming down at the end of next month. And then my aunt and uncle and my cousin um, from the Philippines are going to come visit for like two-ish weeks, I think. It's going to be two weeks. And that's going to be in July. And dish towards the end of July. So lots of stuff going on. So mom's like, I got to lose weight. And I'm like, oh my gosh, mom, you're so crazy. But hi, guys. Yeah, Bad Crush. That's that's her Instagram. Something Latte's Instagram for her um, her handbags that she has for sale. And she has some good ones. She has, like, really fun designer stuff. She always has, like, Chanel, Fendi. Like, it's really cute. Okay. So that is tonight's giveaway. If you are in the first live sale, um, you are able to enter once, and then now you can enter again. Yes, Linda. Um, so I forgot to write out the question. Uh, what is your house in Harry Potter? And if you don't know what it is, what do you think it is? And if you've never seen Harry Potter and have no clue what we're talking about, just let us know. You have no clue. Feedrain, don't lie. You know Harry Potter. It doesn't matter. That's all you need to see in order to know. Vadrian's only seen the first Harry Potter. Sacrilegious. How dare you. Floating candles. No. Okay, so there's the link for today's question. Leave your answer. And uh, you can win this cute little handbag charm tonight. Yay! It's so cute. It's like a little blue purse. Adorable. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, my fair girly. How are you? Friends. Oh, that's awesome, DG House. That's really good that you want to go um, support. That's awesome. <sighs> OK. 
Okay. So tonight, uh, I'm going to have like a mixture of home goods and handbags and other stuff. Um, I'm going to pull more home goods stuff next week. I know I'm not going to be able to do anything tomorrow because I'm going to be gone the whole day. And the rest of the stuff that I have is all the way in the back of the garage. So I need to make my way over there. So that's definitely not going to be happening tomorrow. So I'm hoping to do that sale sometime or start more of the, um, the home goods sales sometime at the beginning of next week. I just need to figure out when my mom and my sister want to do the kids party because it was supposed to be on Friday or something, but we are not sure. Well, my mom and I are not sure because my sister cannot make up her mind and yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. Sorry, I forgot. I didn't get to reply to you yet. I did tell Vadrian uh, to send you an invoice, but it was for the letter N mug, which is right here, and then the shoes. I have them set aside already, so I'm very excited. Those shoes are so, so cute. She got the coach shoes, which are so adorable. I love this color green. They're so good. This is almost the color green of these Bottega Veneta shoes that I've had my eyes on that I hope are still there um, because I regret not getting them when I saw them last week. And then she got the letter N anthropology mug. So congratulations and we're going to have to give you an applause. Um, but, yes. Let's get started. What? Okay, I don't, what are we going to start off with? Um, ooh, I want to start off with something really cool. This is a... I was, like, on the fence about selling this one because it's so cool and, like, a really, like, a unique piece. But I think I am. It was. It's literally been sitting in the library. We have, like, this... Um, a table at the in the corner of the room and it has like a little bottom shelf on the table and this has been sitting there for forever and it's just really cool but like I've never actually used it for its intended purpose it's always just been decorative but um, it is this really cool um, vintage scuba diving um, helmet ice bucket so it's an ice bucket and it's really cold for some reason mm. Um, and it says Livorno 1894 right there on it. Sorry, it's a little dusty. I should get it dusted off. Um, it does have some, like, light marks on the metal. I don't know if you'll be able to, like, buff them out. But it does have a couple little light marks on it. Um, you might be able to buff it out with, a like, some sort of, like, metal polish. Because this is a metal. But it does have some marks on it, so... Yeah, just know that. But it's really, really cool. Ice bucket. And um, the kids actually have put toys inside of it. So I'll take those out. But they put like little figurines and stuff. There's like little, my little pony things in there. Gosh. There's actually this disco ball, which I have been looking for. This like rainbow disco ball thing. It used to be on the countertop. I guess Eliza decided to put it in here. He's probably the only one that would do this. But that would put something inside here. And then there's like these little My Little Ponies inside. That is random. And I don't know where this came from, but this is, um, is this Hilary Duff? This is a little Hilary Duff thing. No, Lizzie McGuire. No, wait, no, this is not. Why well, I think it's Hilary Duff. No, this is um, from, what's it called? With, uh, oh, Rick and Morty. It's the sister. A little Rick and Morty. What's her name? Um, Summer. Summer from Rick and Morty. So, My Little Ponies and Rick and Morty and Summer from Rick and Morty are inside. But, yeah, this would be a really cool Father's Day gift. Um, I mean, I guess you could kind of use it as a cookie jar if you wanted, but it's definitely an ice bucket, <laughs> is what it's for. And,. I don't know. I thought it was just a really cool piece. I've literally had this thing for years. I think I've had this for over 
five, six years. I've had this for a really long time. I had it before we moved into this house. So it's, yeah, but it's just a really cool piece. Um, it's made in Italy and it's, uh, I think it was from 19, it's from 1970s. And Pen Penterton something. I can't read it. It's like in cursive. But it's really cool. I still have the Goodwill sticker on it. I got it for 35 bucks. But it's really fun. So this is going to be our first item. These actually, like the resale of these guys go around like $300. I'm just going to put these back. I'll take them out later if anyone buys them. Yeah, that would actually be really cool, Hana. Okay, this is item number one. This is our um, scuba helmet ice bucket um, vintage. And we're doing this one for just $50. It's going to be item number one. Our scuba ice bucket scooby. I meant to put scuba. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I can't type anymore. <laughs> but I meant scuba. Scuba. <laughs> Maybe it's like laughing at me. I can't type anymore. I'm sorry. My al Between my allergies and just being really hot. Alright, so that's number one. Number two is up next. And we have... Oh, I just thought this was really cool. Um, this is a... I think it's like an acrylic skull. It looks like a crystal skull. I don't know. It's just really cool. I used to have this inside um, in the one of the library cabinets. Oh, and also don't forget, Hana and I are doing a live sale tomorrow at 10 p.m. It's going to be really fun. So don't forget to join us. Um, but that schedule... that. Live sales already scheduled, so if you want to turn on notifications for it or anything like that, you can definitely do that, but it's already scheduled. If you hit the little video link on my YouTube channel page, it should already be there. Um, but yeah, just a little skull. It's from 1999. Um, WUI are the initials on the back. I don't know if that's like the company, but it's really cool. You can see it's like, a, like an anatomically correct, like crystal or acrylic skull you can see like all of the whatever these things are called the themes that are in your skull is that cool but yeah this is gonna be item number two it's a good this is like a really good like paperweight this is our um, acrylic skull and this one, I don't know, let's just do this for 10 bucks. If anyone wants it, $10. <laughs> Patreon is like $25. Patreon, you gotta tell me faster. It's really cool. Wait, what did you say, Patreon? Oh, Hannah called it. Congratulations. Yay! Yeah. Congratulations! It's a crystal skull! Just like in Indiana Jones? Is that where they had the crystal skulls? Okay, up next we have item number three. Okay, our third item for the night is going to be. Oh, I still have this Claire Vivier belt bag. It's so weird showing bags now that I've been showing home decor for the past few days. But this is the um, Claire Vivier belt, the belt, belt bag. It's in red leather and it has um, brown leather trim with the belt strap and the connector and on the zipper pull. This opens up chambray lining on the inside. It's in really great shape. The belt is actually a really good length. 
as well. And it's a really great like body bag just wear across your chest like that. So this is gonna be item number three. This is our Claire Vivier red leather belt bag with brown leather trim and gold hardware. And this is Crystal Skull was the worst of the India. <laughs> I honestly, I remember watching the like those Indiana Jones movies like so long ago with my dad because he is obsessed with Indiana Jones. So, yeah. You said $85, Adrian? All right, this is $85. Our Claire Vivier belt bag. This one's in like new condition. That's item number three. And then next up, we have number four. And our fourth item for the night is going to be... Okay, I don't know if anyone is into Adventure Time, but I have a three-piece set of Adventure Time plushies. The kids have so many of these, like, it's crazy, and I, like, would just pick them up all the time. Um, but we have Bemo, um, I forget what the dog's name is, and then we have, uh, wait, what's the penguin's name? That's not Gus, is it? No. I don't remember his name, but the penguin, we have Goose, no, Gu Gunther, 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 Gunther the penguin, um, What's the dog's name? Nate. Jake. I was like, Nate. <laughs> and then Bimo. I always remember Bimo because Bimo is Eliza's favorite. So, it's a good little set of three. They're super cute. Adventure time plushies. And how much are these, Adrian? Okay, we'll do... Um, how about just... Let's just do $10. For the bundle if anyone wants just one let me know you can do like five dollars for each one otherwise it's ten dollars for the three cute little set uh okay so let's let these guys hang out over here behind me next to the crystal oh sister of a down called it congratulations sister of a down yay <laughs> Okay, next up is item number five. And number five is going to be this MZ Wallace. Um, this is a drawstring bucket bag, style bag. This is brand new with tags. has tags still attached. Um, it comes with three different straps. It has this chain and leather strap and then a fully leather strap, and then the fabric strap. Interior is in this light blue fabric. There's a zipper and an open pocket. Um, this is still on the MZ Wallace website. Retail is $315. And it is in this, it says it's like a boucle fabric, is what it says like online and on the tag. Um, so I guess it's a boucle. So it kind of just, it kind of looks like a Chanel, um, what is the name? Tweed. But, yeah. And it has sequins in it, and it's really, really pretty. It has a little MZ Wallace patch on the bottom, too, and then just the hardware in the front. And there's also one front zipper pocket. Hi, Boots! How are you, Boots? Hi, Carmen. Okay, so this is our MZ Wallace um, boucle drawstring bucket bag with gold hardware. New with tags. And this one's how much?
Okay, we're going to do this one for 135 We're doing a little discount tonight. It's going to be item number 5 at 135 MZ Wallace. I hate that felt oh there you go. It takes a second to adjust the lighting. But it has like sequins in it, it's really, really pretty. Only you would have a on it. Alright, next up we have number six. And for number six, let's do... Mm. I was going to do this Totoro, but now that I'm looking at him, I think I just need to keep him. Because he's so cute. I can't believe I found this Totoro in my garage. I have this little Totoro plushie. He's so cute. License, Studio Ghibli. I wonder where this is, when like this was made. Anyway, he's super cute. I don't think I can sell him. I think I'm gonna have to keep him. I was going to sell him for a second, but. Uh, he doesn't like me. I think he's vintage. I th on the tag it says like 1988. So I think that might be where he like when he's from, but I'm not 100% sure. But he's so cute. And if he's from 1988, I think I have to keep him. Would that be vintage? Yeah, 1988 would be vintage. Almost. If he was 40 years. Hi, Anne! Oh, it is the official merchandise, though. The tag is official. But it says it was from 1988. Distributed by in U.S. by Gund, G-U-N-D. Designed by Sun Arrow in Japan. Licensed by Studio Ghibli. Hand washable, but do not machine wash. And I was going to throw him into the washing machine. I'll have to hand wash him. But he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dodd. Uh, my arms and shoulders are dead. I took up Beat What's Beat Saber? What's that? I know, Susu. I'm sorry. I was like, when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go. But then, like, now that I saw him. Oh yeah. He has a little schmutz on his face too. So I wanted to wash him. But he's so cute. I'll hide behind him so you don't see my face in the photo. Yay, and he has his little tail. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Oh, that's good to hear, Boots. Oh, VR Oculus. Okay. I've never actually um, done or used an Oculus, but it's they sound really fun. Yeah, I've seen, um, I think my cousin's or my brother's friend, I think it's actually my brother's friend that brought that over to the house and they were playing it once. And I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, my Jumbo Totoro, he's sitting over there. I'm like staring at him always. He's always just right in front of me. He's my favorite. Okay. Um, I really want to get a cat bus stuffy. Do I have one? No. Yes? No. I don't know, Eliza's always stealing all my stuff. And then it just disappears, and then I'll find it, like, later on, and I'm like, wait a minute, this looks familiar. Ooh. 
What's the valve index? Yeah, cat bus is a cat that's a bus. It's a bus. It's a cat with like, I think he has six or eight legs. And then you actually can ride inside of him, but he's like alive. And then he travels through the canopy. And he has light up eyeballs so that he can illuminate the nighttime. Wait, Kirsten, there's a cat bus plush at Barnes & Noble that has a little Totoro inside of it? I feel like I might need that. Have you guys seen, like, the cat bus bag that they have at Box Lunch? That bag is so cute. Ugh. So fun. Okay. Our next item is item number six, and it's going to be this Zadig and Voltaire. This is a leather fold-over clutch bag. It's in a, a one, oh, this is a really dark navy. I think it actually comes up navy on camera, which is good. It's a dark, um, really dark navy. It looks almost black in some lighting. It has the embroidered um, Zadig and Voltaire logo right there on the front. And then it's just embossed in the back right there, Zedig and Voltaire. There's a back zipper pocket. The crossbody strap also is removable. Uh, not adjustable, though, but you can double it up underneath the top flap, and then you can wear it as a shoulder bag. But when you open up the top flap, there is a pocket right there. And then you can unzip the top. Oh, it was already unzipped. And the interior just has... This uh, just one open pocket on the inside. Right there. It's nice and clean on the inside, too. Oh, it's pushed to June 1st? <gasps> okay. Okay, so this is number six. This is our navy blue Zadig and Voltaire fold-over clutch bag with um, antique brass hardware. And this is how much catering? Okay, we're going to do this one for... Yeah, let's do $65. I'll do a discount on it. Um, that's going to be number six. Pedro, can you send me a picture of the cat bus plushie? I want to post it. So that people can see it if they don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, Kirsten. Can we all buy matching plushies? We'll all have puzzle bags and Totoro plushies in tow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to try that game out. Okay, next up is number seven. And for number seven, we have... Okay, I don't know where the fourth plate is, but I'm just going to sell the three right now. Um, these are crate and barrel plates, and they are rectangular. They have um, different drinks on them. So this one is Negroni, and this, it's in like a dark blue, and then it has kind of like a, I want to say it's like a rose gold, like, accents on it. So that's Negroni. Then there's a Moscow mule one right there and then zombie so this is for the set of three crate and barrel 
uh, rectangular plates. Oh, Linda, you're bon on. I know a lot of um, a lot of my mom's like really good friends have had knee replacements. The fourth one is in Zach's room with cookies on it. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past him. That kid, like we 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 don't let them bring food into their room, but between him and Eliza, they're always sneaking food into their room. So I'll find like bags, like like empty bags, like chip bags, in like little corners of their room, and I'm like, Eliza, what's this? And he's like. Nothing. <laughs> oh, Hannah, we just saw her earlier. She hopped into the live really quickly. It was nice to get a chat with her really quick. Uh, so these are a set of three uh, crates and barrel rectangular plates with drink motif. And these will be... How much, Vadrian? Um... No, I'm just going to do like $8. So $8, number seven, if anyone's interested in a set of three plates. Oh man, I didn't copy and paste properly. All right, next up is going to be number eight. You guys are gonna. You guys were talking about moving to Ireland. I hear Ireland's really pretty, though. Right, Kirsten. I wanted to collect like a bunch of these like rectangular little plates, but. I've only ever found those. Uh, so, yeah, I'm like, whatever, I'm over it. Yeah, she said she's focusing on herself right now, which I think is really good. So that's really awesome. Everyone needs to just focus on themselves once in a while. I have an empty tooth. Okay, next up is going to be number eight. And I have I feel like I pulled like the weirdest selection of bags for tonight. I don't even know what I was <laughs> doing, but I have um, this black Kuyana satchel. It's a black satchel like kind of tote style bag, black pebbled leather, silver hardware. Um, any vintage glass? <gasps> Not tonight. I sold all the vintage. I'm sold out of all the vintage glass that I had already. First, I'm sorry. Um, I know I have more glass and crystal stuff, but they are in boxes in the garage that um I don't have easy access to right now. So, sometime next week is probably when I'm going to be able to get to them. Oh, uh, if you can I can I move in if you win the lotto? <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to win the lottery except you have to play the lottery in order to win and I never actually play. I think the only time I ever played the lotto was that one time when that lotto prize was like huge and I said that if I won, I would take us all um, shopping and get matching Chanel bags or something.
Um, was it maybe the Mason Margiela, Linda, the black one? How much is the? How much is this guy? Because I don't, I've, I don't think I've ever had a Monster Gabrielle just pouch by itself. It's the Kuyana, the black one. Okay, we're going to do discount on it. We had it at 110 the other day. We're going to do 90. Okay, I, I was going to do 95, but I put a 4, so it's going to be $94. <laughs> um, let me grab that pouch, though, Linda, and see if that's the one you are thinking about. Okay, let me go grab it. I think I know where it is, hopefully. Wait, the small one. I thought you were, I thought we were looking for the big one. I think I know where the small one is. Which is, I think, right... I think it was right in front of me. Which is right here. Was it this one, Linda? The one that looks like it has, like, a little, um, the little bra bracelet, ID bracelet zipper pull. It's in black leather. It does have a little bit of, like, um, I don't know what this is. I think it might be, um, I think it needs to be polished. Because I feel like this might be some sort of, like, sterling silver or something, so... Oh, where is my polish? Anyway, if I find my polish, I will polish it up. But, um, this little wallet is super cute. It just has the Margiela stamping in there. And it's just fabric on the inside. And then stamped, um... Mason, Mar <laughs> Mason Martin Margiela in Paris on there. Okay, how much is this, how much was this one, Peter? Mason Margiela, um, small zip card case, black leather, silver hardware. I think we had this one at one ten before. Yeah, let's do ninety five tonight. If anyone's interested, that's gonna be. Number nine. And that's number nine. <laughs> okay, next up is number ten. Okay, yeah, number nine. Oh, Linda called it. Congrats, Linda. Yay! <laughs> we'll put him right next to Totoro. So cute. Um... Next up, uh oh, don't want that to fall over. I have okay. This is a um, a Pottery Barn. Uh, I don't know what to call this. I know this is like a. You can use this for plants or candles. It's like a pedestal, I guess. Yeah, pedestal. And I know these come in a couple different colors. Um, the green, though, is a seasonal color. They change up the shades every so, like, every summer. Um, they'll do, like, a different shade of green or something like that. It's, like, this cream color that they have all year round. Um, but this one's really pretty. It's a nice, like, mossy green. And it's, like, it's made to look vintage. So, um, it has, like, some built-in kind of, like... I don't know what to call it, but like age marks, but that's how they come brand new. So it's not damaged or anything. That's how they're supposed to look. Um, but this one is really cute and really great shape. Um, and yeah, from Pottery Barn. I think these things are like 50 or $60. Um, I mean, you could use it as a cake stand. I don't know if it's food safe though let me see what it says on it um i mean oh no not for food use so don't put food on here it's mainly for candles and like 
plants. <laughs> Which, yeah. I actually have a couple of these. I think I also have a red one, but I don't know where it is. I have one in the, like, the off-white color I told you guys about, but I use it outside. So, this is really good. Like, these actually hold up really well, or really good outside. Uh, the ones that I have for this collection, like, I have a bunch of different pieces from this collection that we leave outside, and they've been there for years, and they literally still look brand new. So, they hold up really, really good outside. So, this is item number 10. Hi, Sam! Okay, this is our Pottery Barn uh, green footed stand. Stand. For plants or candles. Not food safe. <laughs> and this one we're going to do for um, $25. That's going to be item number 10. Yeah, it still has a little sticker right there, so. Uh, next up is number 11. Who is Diana Trent? Our next item is oh my god, I feel like I crushed this Marc Jacobs bag. I don't know what I did. I thought I was like putting it nicely inside the bin. Okay. Where are we? There we go. This is a Marc Jacobs flat bag in light pink. I'm going to be just like the girl on TikTok. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it has the, it says Mark Jacobs right here. This is in like a, like a white plastic. And then the rest of the hardware is in gold metal. The, cur uh, the strap is convertible. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. It does have a back pocket right there. And then open it up. Just has one uh, or one pocket side. And this is number eleven. This is a pink Marc Jacobs flat bag with white and gold hardware. And this one is going to be. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a little discount on this one and do $85. It's going to be number 11. Next up. <laughs> Adrian keeps saying black pink in my area. <laughs> okay, next we have... 12. And for number 12, let me do that over there. My next item is, this is a Pottery Barn, um, like a faux topiary, and I have like a couple of these. I don't know where the other ones are. I've had this one in my room for the longest time though, but I need to like change up the decor in here. So this is a little Pottery Barn uh, topiary, and yeah, it's really cute. 
ground topiary. It's like a faux boxwood. And this is going to be item number 12. Um, pottery, barn, faux, topiary. And this one is going to be... Oh, are you talking about waiting for Godot? Waiting for Godot, I, I had to read that for AP English. It's like, um, Rose it's like the side story of Rose Rosencrantz and Guildenstern from Romeo and Juliet. And this is going to be, let's just do like $8 if anyone's interested. This could be number 12 in our Pottery Barn Topiary. For our friends that don't do live plants. Or like if you have a room that doesn't get light. It's perfect for like a bathroom or something that doesn't have like a lot of light inside of it. Um, that's number 12. Oh, Linda called it. Congrats, Linda. Yay! Wait, I do have Royal Dolphin um, plates. I don't know where they are, but I'm pretty sure they don't have hand-painted periwinkles. I think they're um, probably the newer Royal Dolphin stuff. I don't know if I have any of the vintage stuff that has any hand-painted anything on them, but they sound lovely. I do love periwinkles. Anything floral. Oh, that's true, Linda. I actually have a couple faux plants that I have used throughout. I have, like, um, another one up there. <laughs> if anyone might be interested, it's, like, a faux, um, it's a faux fiddle leaf, like, a small faux fiddle leaf fig. Just gonna set this guy right here. Oh, okay, Hannah. I thought it was waiting for Godot. And I was like, oh, someone's actually talking about this? <laughs> I was like, did you guys watch the play? Hi, Steffi. Oh, Steffi. It's like, it's just a little pottery barn topiary. It's not anything crazy. Um, okay. Next up, I forgot about this guy. This is um, a brand new... Did something fall? My topiary is falling over. Topiary! I choose you. No? Okay, he doesn't want to stand up today. He's having a hard time. Okay, this is a brand new Tags Kate Spade. Okay, Linda, I'll grab it after this one. I have to, I have to climb a little mountain to get up there. Um... This is a brand new tags Kate Spade like hobo satchel style bag, and it's this beautiful, bright blue pebbled leather. All the ta uh, all the straps are still wrapped up, so it has a shoulder strap, and then it has the crossbody strap, which is um, removable and adjustable. This actually has silver hardware, which is pretty cool because Kate Spade normally has like that light gold hardware, and tags right here. This is called the um, Kaya Green Street bag and the color is called River Blue. And I don't know if it comes with the original dust bag. I don't know if it's in the bottom or something. Okay, I don't think it comes with the um, original dust bag but inside there is a zipper pocket on one side and then two open pockets on the other um but yeah it's brand new with tags just doesn't have the dust bag let me just put all this stuffing back inside this was like stuck within an inch of it when i used to work in the handbag department this is actually how like brand new bags that we got um they always came, like, fully wrapped, like, intensely, and we had to, like, take everything out. Like, they were, like, packaged just like this, like, super packed to the max, and we would have to, like, take off all of the packaging in the back before they came out on the floor. 
No, Steffi, I thought they were ta uh, talking about the play Waiting for Godot, but they were talking about a BB show, BBC show called Waiting for God. <laughs> I believe I saw that. <laughs> I think I had, I think I watched that too in class when we read the when we read the play at school. Uh, this is gonna be item number. Is this thirteen? I think yeah. Okay, this is number thirteen. This is our um, new with tags. Kate Spade, blue hobo. Satchel with silver hardware, and this one is gonna be. Let's do this one for just eighty-five dollars. Brand new Kate Spade, number thirteen. All right. Uh, let me go grab the topi or not the topiary, the faux fiddle leaf, um, little plant that I have. That's gonna be number fourteen. Okay, this is my faux fiddle leaf. Um, it's just a little fiddle leaf fig tree. It has like a little um, terracotta pot. But yeah, it's really cute. It's a little dusty, I apologize. Uh, but yes, this is going to be item number 14. Our faux fiddle leaf fig. I don't know where to put it set it right in front of me. Um, faux fiddle leaf fig plant. And this one, we'll, also, we'll do this one for $15. That's going to be number 14. Anyone's interested in that guy? I wish I could do like some of the larger faux plants that I have because I have a couple like larger faux plants, but those are going to be intense to package up. So, <laughs> can't do them, unfortunately. Um, number 15 is going to be... Did this guy... Let's do... Oh, not my plates! I still do have these Pottery Barn plates, if anyone's interested. I have a set of seven of them. $30. Actually, if anyone's interested, I'll do these for $20, which is the price for pretty much almost just one of these bowls. Set of seven. Let's do that. I just don't want to have to put them away anymore. <laughs> these are white Pottery Barn bowls, set of seven. And these are going to be $20. That's going to be number 15. These are the ones I told you guys that look like flying saucers when you put them upside down. Um, they have a nice big lip to them. These are the great whites also. They're food, they're oven safe up to 350 degrees. And that's 15. Okay, 16 is going to be this Kate Spade, the Seafoam Green Perforated Safiano Leather Kate Spade in a seafoam green color with light gold hardware. It's really cute. Um, underneath, like, the leather, it's fabric in the back, like, has, like, the fabric backing. And then we have the top handles, crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. And then the interior has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. It's in really great shape. There's just a little bit of discoloration around the top by where the zipper is. Other than that, though, the inside is in really great shape. The exterior is in really nice condition as well. And the hardware is nice and shiny, very few marks on it. And that's gonna be item number 16. Your cat licks the walls. <laughs> this is um, our 
sea foam green perforated Safiano leather Kate Spade satchel with like gold hardware. And this is gonna be how much, Peter? Okay, we've had this one. Okay, I think we originally had it like at 65, and then we, we've been discounting it. Let's do $40. We're gonna do $40 for this guy. It's really pretty. And number 16. $40 for our seafoam green Kate Spade. But that's so funny that your cat licks the walls. <laughs> I used to have a cat, his name was Jack. What was the weirdest thing he ever did? I don't think he licked the walls. Huh, I feel like he was pretty, pretty cool. He didn't do anything like weird. I feel like he just does regular cat stuff. Oh my gosh, Hannah. <laughs> so funny. Jack was pretty good, too. He never really messed with, like, anything. We didn't have any fake plants, though. We just had, like... Well, when we had them, we didn't really have... We weren't, like, plant crazy, because... Well, I was too young to care about plants. And then we would just have, like, plants around the house. But they're more like those trees. Um, hmm. Anyway, 17 is up next. And it is, this is a West Elm glass hurricane. And it has, like, these, um, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, did Jack ever do anything like that? Like, no. The only thing he did that really annoyed me, though, was um, in my room, I, I had like this really big window. And I had a, um, it had like the bug net thing on it, you know? I don't know what the, like the mosquito net thing whatever that is, on it, and he would climb the net, and I would, like, see him, and he would literally just be, like, on it, like that, like he was Spider-Man or something, and then eventually, like, he, like, just, like, lacerated the whole thing, so that was annoying and then i i just like threw it away and i didn't know that you can like replace the like the netting on it and then i remember my mom got mad at me and then so it didn't have the netting so then if i ever opened the windows like bugs could fly in and a praying mantis attacked me once which was very scary it was huge and it was menacing Oh, boots! I'm glad to hear! Yay! Okay, so this... Oh, but yeah. It's um, it's a candle hurricane. Um, I guess you could also use it as a vase. That'd be totally um, perfect as well. But it just has, like, this cool, like, bubble design texture throughout. And it's West Elm. I think this is a recycled glass as well. Yeah! Steffi! Right? I'm like, Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> That's the only, like, really annoying thing he ever did. Um, and then once the screen was gone, like, I was kind of scared he would just jump out the window because he didn't, he would think that it was still there. Um, but he never jumped out the window, so it was okay. He's just the bugs that would fly in. Um, so this is our glass Recycled glass, West Elm um, candle hurricane slash face. And this one, we'll just do this for 10 bucks if anyone's interested in this guy that's number 17. Yeah, Linda, this praying mat is just like flew into my room 
and it was like literally trying to attack me. Like it was trying to fight me. <laughs> it was huge too. It was the largest praying mantis I've ever seen in my entire life. True, Hana. But he never did anything to anything else, like the furniture, like when he was a baby, he used to, um, actually, no, he did mess up my chair that was in my room when we first got him. And it was, um, it was like a wood, it was a wood chair, but like the cushions, like the seat cushion and the back cushion had fabric panels on them. And he scratched up the back panels because he liked to climb the back. Because when he was little, he liked to sit, like, right here. So then if I was, like, sitting at the desk, he would, like, use... He would, like, jump up and he would scratch the the chair in order to, like, get to my shoulder. So he messed up that. And then... But that chair needed to go anyway, so it was okay. But um, I remember that that happened. Uh, yeah, of course. The width is about five inches wide. It's a little bit less than five inches. Like, like three millimeters um, short of five inches. And then the height is seven, about 7.5. Yeah, 7.5 inches high. And about five inches wide. So... 7.5 height by 5 inches wide. I, <laughs> I can't go to Six Flags. I'm scared of roller coasters. Not like really scared. Maybe scared. I'm just paranoid that I'm going to get stuck on the roller coaster. I'm going to be upside down for like hours and all the blood, the blood is just going to rush to my head. I think I was... um traumatized from when that used to happen a lot when I was younger when um, they would talk about the rides getting stuck and people would be upside down and then my mom would always tell me about it and I just got so paranoid that I never wanted to go on upside down roller coasters you're welcome Linda <gasps> Kathleen that is true so do black widows the black widows eat the male spider that's why they're called black widows Oh, that's why, yeah. Uh, <laughs> next up is number 18. I forgot what I was going to do. Um, it did the plant. Ooh, how cute! It fits! What happened, Adrian? I'm just going to set that over here. I love it when stuff fits inside. It's actually kind of cool looking. Haha, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jack. Well, I feel like all cats love a good box. Cats and Elizo. Elizo loves boxes. If there's a box that he can fit into, he's sitting inside of it. And then he'll sit in there. And like read or play his iPad. I remember um, my mom got deliveries for something and they came in really big boxes. And Zach and Elizo turned the boxes into spaceships. So they had they each had their own spaceship and they would just sit inside of them. And it was funny. <gasps> Wait, did you guys ever see this TikTok of this lady? And she I think she does it professionally where she uses cardboard to create, like, little cities or, I don't know, like, some sort of, like, art installations or something. And for her daughter's birthday, she made a Studio Ghibli-themed, like, little town in their living room. And then each, like, little house or building had its own, like, Studio Ghibli theme. And then... Each of the kids got to sleep inside them, and it was really, really cute. I have to find the video so I can share it with you guys. I don't remember if I ever posted it in the Discord, 
but it was from like a, like a month or two ago. But it's so cute. I did repost it in my Instagram stories though, but I don't think I ever put it in the Discord. Oh my gosh, Hana. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, next up is gonna be... Okay, we had the... That. We had that. We had that. We had that. I feel like I only, I pulled all the stuff that I've shown already, like, recently. Which is... No bueno. Uh, next. Oh, let's just do this Claire Vivier. This is a Claire Vivier um, satchel in gray. Yeah, DG House, right? When I was little, I was obsessed with, like, making a fort or, like, a tent or whatever. And I remember one year... My mom got me a, it was like a little, like a little tent thing, but it, like, it looked like a house and it was just made with like, um, like those plastic tubes, you put them together and then you just drape kind of like the house over it, like the, the plastic or whatever that looked like the house. And then it had like a little door and I like lived inside that thing. It was just, like, in the living room. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go into my house now. And I was just, like, sit inside of there. And, like, I, like, wanted to sleep in there all the time. But then, like, <laughs> I was like, no, go to your room. And I'm like, no, I want to sleep inside my house. Um, okay. Gray. Ooh. Gray satchel. Um, <gasps> Linda. I can paint it if you don't like gray. I can make it any color you want. This would be pretty easy to paint. It doesn't have like too many um, like things that would hinder a paint job on this. So if you want me to paint it, I definitely can. Um, we can keep the handles white too, or we can change the handles and do a different color. Um, we can dye it black if you wanted it black. But it's Claire Vivier. It has, um, it's all denim or like chambray lining on the inside. And then there's just one, um, there's one pocket, actually three pockets underneath the zipper. It has two little pockets behind it. So there's a zipper and then three open pockets. And then this zips across the top. It looks just like a Speedy in the shape. It's like a speedy, like a 30 in the size. And I really like this leather. It has a really nice pebbling. And it has like nice uh, brass hardware. It has uh, no little feet. So that's just what the bottom looks like. And... This is... Oh, hi, Hepatia. How are you? This is our gray Claire Vivier satchel with brass hardware. And how much are we doing this one for, Vietri? Okay, this one's 85. Okay. But yeah, Linda, if you want this one, just let me know. Um, and I can definitely paint it however you want me to. Oh, yay! It just might take me, like, a week to finish painting it, just because there's so much stuff happening this week with the kids at school. But um, I should have it to you early next week. So you just let me know what colors you want. I can do everything the same color. I can color block it, like, how it is. Um, I can even color, like, each panel a different color, because there's, like, little, there's, like, different panels. So whatever you want. 
Okay, yeah, Linda, send me photos of, like, color combos that you like, and then I can um, replicate it on here. So, but congratulations. Yay! Okay, so that's number 18. And 19 is up next. Okay, so got that, and let's do, what happened Adrian? Hmm? Oh. <sighs> Next up is... Oh, I still have these plates from the other day. These are anthropology plates. They're super cute. It's a set of three. And it's an apple with a ladybug. And there's a little hungry caterpillar on the other side. And it says, um, croc à la pomme. And the border is in blue and green with like little polka dots. They're super cute. And, um, they're all in good shape, except the two of the plates have, um, I don't know if it's, like, some sort of graying or, like, with a glaze. You can see that there's, like, kind of, like, a gray in it. That's the same with this plate. The other plate doesn't have it. But I think it's something to do with the glaze of the plates. Um, yeah, like this one is like, this, the glaze is smooth, and then the other two, there's like a crackle almost finished the glaze, which I think is why it has like that gray in it, but I'm not sure. But this is, um, Natalie Lett is the artist that um, did these, and these are dishwasher and microwave safe. Yeah, we sent them, yeah, we showed them yesterday. So this is our set of three anthropology um, apple plates. And these were how much, Peter? Okay. We had them for 30, let's do 25. That's number uh, 19. Mm. Oh, Sam, oh, Sam just sent an email. Okay, let me check. Let's see. Oh, Vadrian, do you have um the tracking for Sam's sunglasses? The Dior mirrored glasses? Let me check. Actually, hold on. Let me check. Download. I can check. It's. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Let me actually just have to look for the name. Oh, here we go. Ew, it's so slow. Um, Sam, I'm going to send you the tracking right now. It doesn't have a date for delivery yet, but it says it's still moving through the network. So, I don't know. It doesn't have, like, an, a set delivery date. It says your package will arrive later than expected, but it's still on its way. It's currently in transit. The last update was today. So, right now it's, um... Or, the last update was yesterday. It was in Illinois. So, I'm going to send you the tracking right now, Sam. Let's see. Oh, and also, you guys, sometimes the tracking goes into your, um, into your junk mail for some reason. I don't know why it does that. But if you're ever missing your tracking, um, you can always check there, too. But always feel free to email me and ask, 
or and um and I can always give you your tracking number too. But for some reason, it just wants to go in there. Okay. Uh, Sam, I'm sending you that tracking right now. Okay, there you go. All right, and that's uh, I I put it. It's via USPS. All right, next is gonna be. You're welcome, Sam. Ooh, boots. Yeah, ooh, you gotta share it with us when you do end up um, taking the belt. I wanna see what your vintage collection, your vintage plates look like. I love vintage plates. I'm just so worried about them, because, like, especially the hand painted ones, because I don't want the design to come off. And I feel like I'm always, like, so rough when I'm, like, washing the plates. I always wash them so vigorously. Okay, next up is number 20. Okay, so these are... Oh, I still also do have um, the James and the... Oh, it's not a peach. Never mind. I was going to say the James and the Giant peach. But it's a James and the Giant pear. I still have the Giant pear platter huge this is um pottery barn and i who was it that said you can serve an infant on there was it linda <laughs> you definitely could put an infant in here um and take one of those like ann geddes photos but this is uh gonna be number 20 so how much was this guy feed me the giant Pear, pottery, barn, platter. Okay, we had this one at twenty-five dollars. Let's just do twenty. Twenty dollars. Twenty for number twenty. here. I feel like I have like a mini mountain of breakables right next to me. So, just need to... Okay. Next is gonna be 21. Oh, chair, uh, Sam's calling number six. Number six was our Navy Zadig and Voltaire clutch bag. Woo! Yay! Congrats. That's the Zadig and Voltaire. Congrats. Where did I put that Zadig and Voltaire? Ah, oh, here it is. Yay! Okay. Um, do I have any? I don't have any new sunglasses. I still do have some sunglasses available, but I'm hoping to find more sunglasses tomorrow because I love sunglasses. You guys already know. And I parted with a lot of the sunglasses I wanted to hoard, so now I just have an empty hole in my heart that needs to be filled with new sunglasses. Oh, thanks, Boots. I don't know. I'm, I am I think I'm going to be the one that's going to be packaging all of the hard goods and shipping them out. So, no, I'm I'm the one that's going to be shipping out all the hardware, all the, all the hard goods, pretty much. I think Vaderman's just going to ship out some of them. Oh, sorry, Lady Badger. That one was, what num What was it, Vaderman? Oh, the Kate Spade. This is the Kate Spade Hobo large. Um, it's a like a beautiful bright blue. The color for it from Kate Spade is called River Blue, 
is the name, and it has silver hardware. All the hardware, all the stuff is still, like, wrapped up. It just doesn't come with a dust bag, but um, everything else is still, like, wrapped up and in perfect condition. <laughs> Vadrian says that they're going to be wearing their Mugler sweater while they're packaging. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> I don't have a Mugler sweater for when I'm packaging. That's so sad for me. It's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have so much fun packaging all of this stuff. I'm going to buy so much packaging stuff. I think, like, <laughs> I'm just going to spend all the money on packaging stuff. But it's totally fine. I'm excited for it. No, bro oh! Um, Sandra's calling the MZ Wallace. Yay! Congratulations, Sandra. Woo! And Lady Badge is on number 13. Woo! Oh. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, Ah, uh, You guys are getting such good bags. I love these. That blue one. And I am... My mom, like, loves this bag. <laughs> She's like, it's so cute. Congratulations. All right. Let me just mark these ones. Why can I not find that? Oh, it's number 13. There it is. But yeah, Vadrian doesn't like to do the hard goods. <laughs> Vadrian accidentally broke something today, too. Or I don't think... No, the baby broke it, or did you break it? The baby broke it. One of the babies. The one that moves a lot. The other one is a stationary baby. But... <laughs> the little baby that likes to throw things and touch everything? Yeah. So... But it's okay. I have a lot. I have a lot of experience packaging up breakables since I send boxes to the Philippines full of breakables all the time. So just like, but try my hardest. I usually use clothes to package um, the stuff that we send to the Philippines. Like I'll fill them up with like plates and crystal and glassware, and I just like wrap everything in clothing that we also uh, send to the fat white family in the Philippines, and. I have a pretty, like, knock on wood. I don't have any wood to knock on. Oh my gosh, help me. Why is there no wood around my room? Oh, wait, then that's not wood. Oh. Knock on wood. I have a pretty good track record with things that I sent to the Philippines. <sighs> okay. Um let's see. Don't overwrap the non breakable save so. It's like a game of like Tetris boots. Man. Now I'm going to have to, like, I'm going to buy a bunch of boxes. People are going to think I'm moving. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I have, um, uh, I started putting everyone's stuff inside of, like, boxes already. But those boxes that I use are, like, definitely too small. Like, they're not going to fold up. But they're, like, lining the hallway. I'm going to have to, like, take a photo and show it to you guys later. But, like, I just have two rows of boxes in the hallway. <laughs> and I'm almost like, are you moving? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm moving out all this stuff. <gasps> I love wrapping presents for the holidays. It's my favorite thing.
Damn, I think you can try just like um like a jewelry polishing cloth, but um I I think palladium can be cleaned and polished. But yeah, I would just try a polishing cloth, like a regular one. But I know they have different ones for certain things. Like I don't know if palladium if they have like a palladium polishing cloth because I know there's one specifically for silver, specifically for gold, and stuff. So, you might want to check and see if they have one for Palladium. No, but I don't think they sell the Palladium one, do they, at Target? Yeah, I know they sell silver and... I think they sell a separate silver and separate gold. Yeah. Because I know, like, different chemicals that they have in them react differently to different metals. So, I would just look for, like, the Palladium one. Or if there's one, like, a generic one um, to shine it up. What number are we on? Yeah, Sam, just look for something specifically for palladium. And but I'm I don't know if they actually sell anything like that, but let me see. Wait, what Vader? Okay, so we're on number twenty one now. I think they have some that are, like, generic, and you can use them for, like, any, um, any metals, but, um, I think, too, for the belts, you can remove just, like, the belt, like, the metal part, right? Um, I think you can just use, if you want to just clean it, I think you can just use, like, a little soap and water, but, um. Yeah, I have, like, one of those, like, sonic cleaner things for, like, jewelry and glasses. That is, like, that would probably work really well, too. And they sell, like, this jewelry solution that you put into it to mix with the water. And that makes your, it makes jewelry shine really, really nicely. Oh yeah, happy. I have a lot of stuff I need to like to purge. <laughs> I was like, it's like the movie The Purge, except it's not, because that movie is not the same thing. Yeah, Sam. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can just get like a generic polishing cloth or something. Um, one that's safe for all metals. You can use that. But I think you can just um, wash it with, like, a little bit of soap and water, too, if you're just trying to clean it. But I think if you're trying to get, like, a shine on it, um, one of those polishing cloths, I think. You might even just want to bring it. You can bring it to Hermes, too, if you're worried about anything. And they can let you know what they would suggest. Because I know, like, each fashion house or whatever has, like, a different, like, recommendation for their products. So... Um, all right, next up is going to be 21, and we have, okay, did the giant pair, anthropology plates, I don't really have too much anymore that I brought out, I just have like a bunch of like, random bags still. I have, um, this is a pink Coach Ergo. This is the new re-edition version of the Ergo. And, oh, I also brought, like, this is the vintage one. So this is, like, a vintage version of the Ergo. This is in dark uh, brown leather and then a black velvet. And then this one is the new re-edition of the Ergo. So you can see how they switched up a little bit. Um... But this is like a special edition of the vintage Ergo, so it doesn't make sense. Because they had, this is like a shorter strap. Um, this is more of like a little handbag that you carry on your arm. Um, I have another version of the vintage Ergo that has the longer strap and it's all black leather. It's very similar in, sh in um, like the look of this, but the new re edition has the adjustable shoulder strap and 
the hang tag hangs on the corner right there. And it zips across the top. The inside has one um, interior zipper pocket in the back. And then it just has a creed on the other side. It's nice and clean on the interior. Um, the exterior does have, I don't even notice it has like this little mark. I think this will come out though. I haven't had a chance to try to clean that. Um, yeah, other than that, bag is in really great shape. Super cute. And this is in the monogram pink canvas and then it has pink leather trim. Oh yeah, DG House. I love, um, I love, love this sonic cleaner. I literally try to put anything that will fit inside of it. I want to like clean it. It's the best. Hi, Kirsten. Wait, what did you say, Adrian? 65. Pink canvas and leather um, coach ergo in pink with brass hardware. $65. <laughs> uh, the allergies. Uh, I'm dying. It's always this time of night, too. My allergy medicine is wearing off. So, I need to take more. But yeah, Sonic Cleaner is one of the best things ever. Especially with cleaning eyeglasses and sunglasses. It's so good. It really gets everything off of them. Oh, good night, Kirsten! It's one of the best inventions ever. Thank you, Kathleen. Um, highly recommend. I'm going to have to link link it or something. I need... Okay, like, I think they actually remade... Um, I can make, make my own... What's it called? Um, Amazon Storefront. Or something. And I wanted to do that. And like add like all of my favorite things. Because that would be pretty cool. So I can have everything all in one place. Like all of my Amazon product recommendations. My phone is about to die. I was going to ask John to walk the dog. But I think I'll just walk them. Oh, yeah. Just be careful. Not everything can go into the Sonic Cleaner, too. So, kind of be careful. But, okay, I think we're just going to go to 25 tonight. And then, after that, we'll call our winner for our tiny little handbag um, keychain charm. So, let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway as well. So, you guys can make sure to enter that second time. Oh, that's good to know, Hana. I didn't know that. I really just put my glasses in there. Mm. Or like the time that the baby threw your ring on the floor and then it all the stones fell out. Oh, the necklace from your dad, the stones from your dad's necklace came out in the Sonic Cleaner? <gasps> That's not good. Are pearls okay in the Sonic Cleaner? I feel like maybe no. Pearls are pretty delicate. I I, I just like it for sunglasses. <laughs> Anything to make my sunglass cleaning easier. Um, This is the next item. This is a... You like brush this out. This is a Claire Vivier. Claire Vivier, this is the go see um, crossbody bag. This front panel is the front pocket right here. This is in black suede, and the rest is just in black leather. It has gold hardware, and there's two. 
zipper compartments. The front one looks like that on the inside. Um, it's actually in pretty good shape in that front pocket. The main compartment though does have um, some pen marks and makeup marks inside of it. I feel like the original owner actually kind of used this maybe as a makeup bag, which I mean this bag is pretty um, versatile. You can remove the crossbody strap, just use it as a clutch, as a makeup bag. Um, you can wear as a crossbody, you can tie up or make a little knot in the strap and then make it into a little shoulder bag as well. Or you can attach like different straps to this also. Uh, the retail for this bag I believe is around almost $400. It's still available on the Claire Vivier website and all of her leather goods I made in Los Angeles, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so the bag is in pretty good shape. I restored the suede as best I can, but I think it came out pretty, pretty good. Yeah, brush it in different directions. But um, I'm like obsessed with like suede cleaner right now. I have like this suede refreshing product that just makes the suede look so good from Angelus. Highly recommend. I think I actually have it right here next to me. Um, suede Renew by Angelus. It's so good like new buck and suede if you spray this on it after you clean the product you're like whatever you're cleaning the shoe or the bag you spray this on it and well not on it you use you spray it onto a brush or onto a, a clean towel and then you apply it it just makes the new buck or suede look so good it makes the color pop also it's really fantastic hi mrs mdoza how are you Okay, so this is number 22. This is our black Claire Vivier Ghosty. Clutch bag with gold hardware. And this is how much we did? We have this one for $85. Claire Vivier number 22. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm talking like Ramona Singer? <laughs> Okay, 23 is up next. Wait, did I sound like Ramona Vader? Right? <sighs> You're just saying that. I wanted to sound like Ramona. Twenty-three is um oh this is a large clutch. What is happening right now? And then it, yeah. This is a Claire, or Claire Vivier. I can't talk anymore. This is a Kate Spade large wristlet clutch. It's in this cream off white colored leather. And it says bananas. And it's like perforated. It also does have this banana charm on it. There's three like little bananas on it. Um, I don't want to take it off because it's like still covered. But you can see it inside. There's three little banana pieces inside of there. Um, the wristlet is right here. It's in black leather. Uh, it still has the original tags on it. And then inside has a zipper pocket and then an open pocket. And it just has black and white striped lining in there. Really pretty. And this is number 23. Oh, this thing just wants to fall off now. 23. This is, um, new red tags. Kate Spade. Large. Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Wristlet. This one's $75. That's number 23. And then two more items. And then, no, why did it do this to me? You saw the silver round thing. 
Oh, Hipatia, no. Oh, wait, no, right? I think that's still available. That was number one. It's the Scooby. <laughs> Scooby. The Scuba helmet. It's um a vintage metal ice bucket in the shape of a scuba helmet. It's really cool. And how much was this one, Adrian? This one was fifty dollars. Yeah, so it's fifty dollars vintage scuba helmet. It's an ice bucket. It's really cool. It's metal. Um it does have, like, some marks on the metal. I don't know if you can buff them out, but um, it's an otherwise really great shape. It says Livorno 1894 on there. And this guy was from the set 1970. So this was this was actually vintage from the 70s. And, oh, Hepatia is called... It's $50, Hepatia. But congratulations... That was going to Hepatia. Yay! Isn't it so cool, Steffi? Those, um... They, like, normally resale on, like, the resale market online. Like, around $300. So, those are really cool. And pretty pricey. There was actually, um, I also had another one. But I think I sold it a while ago. It wasn't an ice bucket, but it was uh, a vintage scuba um, helmet. But it was like a copper or brass or a copper and brass one. And it was like a little, like a miniature, like a figurine. But it was like pretty big. It was still like this big. And but I sold that one like a while ago, like a couple years ago, I think. Jacques, oh, Jacques Cousteau, yeah, exactly, Kathleen, it, that's true, yes. It, it is, right, Hipatia? It reminds me of this lady on TikTok that I follow, and she has, like, all this, like, all the things at her house look like one thing and are something else. So, like, she has, like, a giant bowl of spaghetti that's actually a candle, and... I feel like she would have that in her house also. It's like a scuba helmet, but it's actually an ice bucket. Uh, okay. 23. Okay, 24 is up next. Oh, it was just on hold. Okay. Since we're talking about the Chanel backpack, let's grab the Chanel backpack. Here she is. Um, what do we discount this one to, Adrian? Yellow Chanel backpack. It's super cute. It's clear on top. Has silver hardware. What do you say, Adrian? Okay, this is 1850 Right, Hipatia? I love Restoration Hardware. They have such cool stuff. It's just so expensive. The outlet used to be pretty good, but I feel like now um, the, like, the Restoration Hardware outlets are so expensive. I know, Hipatia's house is literally going to look like my house. <laughs> With all my crazy stuff. I've had that thing for years. Like, I've had it for over five years. I had it I had it before, and since even before we moved into this house. So, it's really cool. And I'm glad that you're going to be able to enjoy it inside your house. Kathleen, I love the name Mustard, too. We have, um, my mom has ketchup, so... Ketchup is still, it's still with us, just in mom's um, handbag cupboard, and this is mustard. This mustard is a little smaller, though. This is a smaller version. Um, ketchup is a larger version, and ketchup is just all lambskin leather, and this one has, like, the clear part up top, but so cute. I love that the top handle, though, gets long, and you can wear it like a shoulder bag. I think that's super cute. Okay, next up is 25. 
I know. I can't wait for Melissa to get it. I hope she loves it. It's such a cute bag. I love that, like, the horizontal or the vertical quilting. I think it's so, like, unique and special. They don't really, I don't think they make them anymore. I thought they made them, like, they brought them back at this past um, Chanel fashion show. But I found a picture of the bag that I thought was it. And it was just, like, a regular quilting. So. I want french fries, too. I'm going to make sure to get some tomorrow. Even though I'm trying to be on a diet with mom. But it's so hard. I have to have french fries at least once a week. <laughs> I can't I can't not have french fries. Um okay, last item for the evening. What are we gonna do? Do I have anything cool that I can show you guys? Starting to get hungry. I have like so. I had a tiny salad with chicken for dinner. Like, because my mom was like, oh, you want some salad? And I was like, sure. And then there was, like, only a little bit left. I didn't want to make, like, more salad from what they had. And I was just like, okay. And I just ate it with the grilled chicken. So, I'm probably going to eat again. Some, uh, eat something after this. Oh, Hibata, did you see this one? This is, um... This is a, what's it called? This is Restoration Hardware, but it's like a little birdcage candle holder. Can you believe the retail? Um, they sold this for $125. And this is the small version. So there's like a larger version that's probably like $250 or something, which is crazy. But yeah, Restoration Hardware, the prices are insane. Sam, you had kare kare. I love kare kare. It's so good. Do you eat it with baguong? I only like this one baguong that uh, my parents buy whenever we go to the Philippines. And it's like, because like regular baguong, it's like shrimp paste, right? But sometimes it's just like so salty. I'm just like, eh, like I never want to eat it. But this one is so delicious. And it has like the perfect flavor and the right balance of like the shrimp and whatever else you put in it. It's so good. Ah, oh, yes, Sam. Oh, so good. I'm like, I was telling my mom, I was like, we only have half a jar left of the bagoong that I like. And I'm like, you're going to have to go to the Philippines again because... We need this bagoong. <gasps> oh, that's what I should tell my cousin. She was asking me if I wanted, like, if I wanted her to bring me anything from the Philippines. I have to ask her to bring me that um, bagoong if she can. We can only get it from like a farmers market on Saturdays in Makati. If you know where that is, so yeah. Oh, that's smart, Sam. I should do that. I think I'll try that. Do you like to eat bagoong with um, with the green mango? Oh, it's so good. Okay, sorry guys, I'm getting off track. Now I'm just like really hungry. I'm just thinking about food. Um, but our last item for the evening is... Oh! Let's do this red Chanel. She's beautiful. Um, the strap on this used to be connected. But I added this hardware on it, so now you can disconnect it. So you can just use it as a little top handle, like, evening bag. And it's so cute. If you want me to reattach it, just like how it was originally, though, I can do that, too. But I thought this was really, like, a really cute option. So instead of having to tuck it in, you can just use um, this to attach the hardware. So it's, I thought it was really fun. So, yeah. But I can always just reattach it. I just have to open the chain up and put it back on. But um, it's red caviar leather gold hardware. Or like an antique like gold. It's not like a super like bright gold. It does have a little bit of silver right here. Um, open it up. Looks like this. There's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on there. 
She does have a little bit of like, like rubbing on the corners, but nothing crazy. And there is like kind of like some, like I don't know, like sagging a little bit of the leather, but it's still in good shape. You can see. Really, really cute. Oh, I love Bundy Sal. I haven't had Bundy Sal in so long. Seriously, Kathleen, I'm going to have to ask her. <laughs> Steffi. Steffi, you got to come back tomorrow because Hannah and I are doing a live. That's too full. She's in the chat. Um, we're doing a live sale tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. Oh, really, Sam? Oh, bago oh, are you talking about bagoong or are you talking about the, the liver spread? Any of that stuff is so expensive, though, I feel like. If you buy it at, like, um, 99 Ranch or at, like, um, Green Hills. I call it well-loved, too, Hana. It's not too bad, but you can see a little bit of, like, that wrinkling right there. It's not too much on the back, though. But the bag still, like, it stands up on its own still. So, But, yeah, it's super-duper cute. I love that you can just carry it like this, too. I think that's really fun. Uh, I also I actually think you can remove... Yeah, you can actually remove the little top handle, too, if you wanted to take that off and replace it with something else. Or just take it off completely and just do, like, a completely handleless clutch or just the crossbody. You can do that as well. Um... Yeah, so this is going to be Right, Susu? It's like a fun option. Because, like, I know a lot of um, Chanel flat bags. I think almost all of them. I don't think you can remove the crossbody straps on, like, almost any of the Chanel flat bags. So it's cool that you can do that on this one. I just thought that was Yeah. Thought that would be a nice little option. So, but we can always reattach the strap if you want it, just like how it was originally. But this is going to be number 25. Fred, Chanel, um, caviar leather flap bag with um, antique gold hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, let's go do, we're going to do a discount. We're going to do. 2200 okay? I think we had this one. How much did we have? Like 25 I think, before? Yeah, I think we had it at 25 We're going to do a good discount. So that's going to be 2200 That's $300 off from our last discount, which we discounted it by, like, another, like, 300 So I think we discounted it up to a total of 800 Um, happy... Um, the charm isn't detachable, but I can, I can open it and attach a little lobster claw to it so it will be detachable. So I can do that if you want. Um, it just has a little, I open up the little ring right there, and then I have a lobster claw thing that I can attach on there for you if you want. So that way I can make it detachable, it's just not officially detachable by Kate Spade. So, let me know if you want me to do that happy, and then I can do that for you. Otherwise, unfortunately, it, I, it doesn't actually come detachable. But I mean, yeah, if that makes sense. And that was our last item for the night. <gasps> also, did you guys hear that official, officially the Chanel um, flat bag is more expensive than... Hermes Birkins, like a new Chanel flap is more expensive than a new Hermes Birkin. Is that crazy? So you guys see that on, um, I, th I actually posted it in Instagram, but, uh, I saw an article on it and it's nuts. I can't believe that. Like Chanel bags are so expensive now. It's crazy. All right, Happy. Yeah, we'll do that for you. All right, congratulations. Yay, number 23. Thank you. And we will attach the little lobster claw onto the charm, so that way you can remove it and reattach it if you want. I actually bought that with the intention of doing that because I wanted to steal the charm off of it, but I was like, ugh, I can't do that. 
Yeah, Hana, can you believe that? They also, um, Hermes also recently had a price increase on their shoes. Hermes had a price increase in shoes, Chanel had a price increase in bags, so now their bags are more, their Chanel flat bag is more expensive. So that's so nuts. I, like, can't believe it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so it's crazy. Yeah, it's a peanut butter based, like, I, w I don't want to say it's like a, I don't know if it, you would call it a soup, more like a stew, maybe, like the, like the broth or whatever, the soup. It's like a thicker texture, uh, but it's so good and it's so yummy. And you put like a bunch of vegetables in it. You can put um, string beans, um, bok choy, eggplant, and you can even um, do, uh, what's the, what is that called? I forgot what kind of, what, what that part of the meat is called, but it's like, um, uh, it's like fibrous. I don't remember. Some lead in YouTube. <gasps> That's crazy. Downsizing. How? Uh, I wish I had too many Birkins that I would need to downsize. <laughs> yeah, banana charms. I actually have the um, the Kate Spade banana coin case, and that's like the matching. Uh, like, pouch that goes with it. Oh, tendon! Yes, thank you, Happy. I was like, what is it called? Yeah. So good. Oh, yeah, when people have, like, so many. Ah, <laughs> uh, boots, you're making me so hungry. I'm gonna have to ask my mom if she can make that. Again. Or I want. I love sinigang too. Sinigang is so good. Mm. So good. And not me trying to be on a diet, thinking about all this really delicious food. All right. Here's the link one more time for the giveaway. There's the link. Uh, downsizing is, I could, I don't know, downsizing. I've been trying to downsize my handbag collection, but like, it's like, get rid of one bag and then you buy three more. So, like, what is, what does downsizing your handbag collection even mean at this point? <laughs> oh, Kathleen, it's, um, it's just, it's just like purely Filipino food. So sinigang is also like, well, we make it with oxtail. So it's also an oxtail soup, but it's kind of like a sour, um, it's a tamarind based soup. And my mom makes it with oxtail and spinach. And it's so good. It's so, my mouth is literally watering just thinking about it. Even the boys love it. They just like, it's so good. It's my favorite. <gasps> oh, boots. Okay. The vegetables in Kare Kare are so good, though. I also love that, too. It's so yummy. We need to have, like, a Filipino food party. Filipino food is so good. I was telling my mom, I was like, can we just invite everyone over and have, like, a huge party at the house. <gasps> Did it close, Hana? And so many bags are lined up, like, fire out there. All the bags are up there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I also heard at Louis Vuitton that they're no longer selling Neverfulls in the stores. 
Um, any of like the regular Neverfulls though, like any of like the regular Neverfull styles that they carry, like in the monogram, Damier, Ibin, uh, and like the regular like leather, those are all going to be purely online or you have to like order them in store. The only ones that they're going to be carrying at the store are going to be special edition um, Neverfulls, but yeah, they're going to stop carrying Neverfulls at the stores. Oh, Hana. That stinks. I'm sorry. Oh, they had a small market too. Oh, <gasps> Kathleen. That lady sounds fabulous, though. I'm sorry about her husband, but it sounds like she has an amazing collection of stuff. Exactly, Tara. Yeah, just the limited edition Neverfulls. They're not carrying any regular Neverfulls anymore. So. Ooh, that's a lot of handbag news today, huh? Yeah. Like, um, if you see a Neverfull in the store, I, I think it's just purely going to be, like, a display thing. They're not going to be selling um, the regular Neverfulls in store anymore. Oh, my gosh. People have been telling my mom that she needs to open up a restaurant for years. But it's like... How? <laughs> You're already so crazy, like, busy all the time. Are you sad? <laughs> you gotta take a- you have to take, like, a video of your cat licking the walls. I feel like it would go viral on TikTok or something. And then you could use, like, one of those, like, robot, like, AI voices and be like, my darn cat is licking the walls again. Oh, uh, I wish I knew, like, good restaurants. I never have any recommendations, really. Because we really just eat at home. <laughs> I'm like, my, my, my mom's kitchen... Um, but if you're in Orange County, um, you should go to the Packing House, and it's kind of like a giant food court, and it's inside, like, the old packing district in, or in, um, in Anaheim, and it used to be, like, an old, like, railway station also, and it's just really, it's really cool inside, and there's, like, a lot of different, um, restaurants that you can choose from. They have, like, Vietnamese, they have Japanese, um, they have, like... Korean, American, like, fusion. They have, like, um, like burgers, crepes, gelato, um, all sorts of things. So that's a cool place to go. And it's really um, photographic, photogenic. Hi, <laughs> there. <gasps> oh yes the barbecue yes on a stick yes oh my gosh Kathleen catering <laughs> could you imagine I don't know if we could do it it would be fun but it would be so intense Imagine if we were, like, party party planners, and then, like, we'll provide the food and the decorations and all that stuff. It would be crazy. You'd fly in for it. <laughs> Susu. I don't really know any good Filipino restaurants, to be honest, because my mom, like, that's the only Filipino food I really ever have, is the food that my mom cooks. Oh my gosh, Hana, yes, please. Ooh, chow mein. Um, there's Fili a Filipino chow mein. It's called, um, wait, hold on. What is it called? Pancit. And, ah, uh, it's so good. But my mom makes all sorts of, like, chow mein, pancit, like, <gasps> there's, um, my mom made pancit, like her leftover pancit, into egg rolls, and they are so good. Like, if you ever have 
like leftover like I don't know if it would be good with like regular chow mein because like the noodles might be too thick but um if you use like bihon which is like a type of um rice noodle that's like really thin and it's like clear that might like you make um like basically a chow mein out of um and you have like leftover like if you have like a wrapper like egg roll wrappers or something in the freezer just wrap them up in the wrapper and then fry it and they are so delicious yeah maybe you could hana <laughs> a patreon cooking class oh my gosh my mom like we've we've been trying to make cooking videos but my mom has she doesn't really have like patience for like waiting for me to try to film her and then she doesn't really know um her measurements for anything because she just does it all by taste or just like however she feels and it's just always right she's one of those cooks like she doesn't really use any exact measurements unless it's for baking or something otherwise like she literally like will just throw whatever she feels into it and then it's always just so delicious i can't Okay, sorry you guys. I just like keep chatting and chatting. It's like almost midnight already. It's like eleven thirty. Um, okay, let's pick our winner though right now. I'm so sorry you guys. I'm just like a chatty Kathy tonight. But don't forget tomorrow we're gonna be back at ten p.m. and we're doing a live with Hana tomorrow. That's two full seventy five right there, and I think it's gonna be so much fun. But let's pick our winner now um, for our giveaway. And I got to get all this stuff sorted. Got to walk the dogs. I got to get the mail. So in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Our winner is Linda. Oh, Linda, congratulations. Linda, I'm a Hufflepuff. Yay. Congrats, Linda. You are the winner of our little um, handbag keychain charm tonight. Congratulations. Um, oh, that's right. It's 2.30 for you over there. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Please. I hope Zoe does make an appearance. That would be so cute. But congratulations, Linda. You are the winner tonight of our little handbag charm. And honestly, I'm the winner. You guys are so amazing. I'm so lucky to have you guys all. And I'm really excited for tomorrow. I really can't wait to see Hana in action. Um, showing us what she has in store for um, her sale tomorrow. And I'll have um, hopefully all new goodies for you guys as well. And yeah. Oh yeah, happy Saturday to the East Coasters over there. But Thank you guys so much for another super fun night. I know that this was the second live today. Uh, <laughs> you guys are probably so tired of hearing me just chit chat. I can't even stop. Um, so I'm going to end the live now. Thank you guys again. Um, have a great night. Have a great Saturday tomorrow. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Pacific time with Hana. All right. Good night, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Bon voyage. La divertie.